Welcome to the Power to Rise 2, Session 1, Part 2. It's now technically the 31st of May, 2020, um, since we went past the midnight mark. Uh, I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. I'm Alan, playing as Dewey, Dragonborn Bard, class level 1. Uh, so far, I've stolen a glass. Next. Uh, I'm Jules, I'm a uh, wood elf druid, um, and I've caused the group no end of troubles um, by getting us in a bit of a sticky situation. Yeah, I'm going to pass it Me, yeah, I'm Stuart Mardrin, uh Warven wizard, you think that out by the way, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, but, uh, and so far pointed them in the direction of danger. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Angela and I'm playing Collins Elk. I am a half orc and my class is Fighter One. I have been trying to give some ideas and some tips to the team. Um, we haven't been successful, but I'll just need to talk louder in the future. To be fair, everything you've suggested, I think, has been a great suggestion so far. Um, yeah, oh, thank you. Hundred percent agree. I think you've come up with some very good ideas. Um, last but not least, uh, my name is Barry. I play Guy from the Mad. I'm a Dragonborn Ranger, and we're either about to fuck shit up, or we're going to get our shit fucked. <laughs> yup. <laughs> uh, I guess without further ado... Now, we're going to have it where, obviously we know technically we get a bit of a split party, so there's going to be one round without the two, sorry, like without the three that hung back, and then the next round everybody will take part in it. Right? Because you'll need to spend your turn getting there to the fight, the three of you that hung back. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what I'll do is I'll put everybody on the map just for the sake of it being easier to manage and everybody gets to see how much of a great time everybody's having. Uh, but the three that hung back, I will leave you like in the corner. Um, so, pop you there for now. And I'll just dump you one forward, and I'll move everybody over there. Here we are. So everybody should be able to see the new map once it loads. All good? Yeah. Good, good, good. Well, right. I have a drawing on the map. Somebody seems to have moved already. Did. Mm -hmm. Alan, stop. Did, yeah. Put yourself back, buddy. Try to. Sorry. Yeah, wait. One sec. Good. Yeah. There we go. Cheers. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. Now, everybody needs to click on their tokens and roll initiative. I am. As I said, we'll ignore like use three that are in the line just now, right? I just want a back and then Giver to do it first, right? So I'll bring up the initiative tracker. I'll, I'm gonna remember that part I said where I was gonna clear everything. Remember, because we've got the the old initiative. This is the part I mean. So we're, we just we we clear that. So is it just used? So it's just those two for now, right? Uh, do you want to roll again, Giver? Because again, you didn't let me clear the initiative order before we did that. Click your token, put it there. Also, back, you need to click your token and do that. So if do need to do that for you, cool. Can you do it for me, Alex? Mm -hmm. That was convenient, Barry, that you rolled the same thing for me. Thank you. Um, click my token. Yeah. 
and then go into initiative on your sheet. And that is the initiative. So your dex is plus two, is it, back? Uh, so it needs to be on your sheet, not obviously Dewey sheet. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good, good. Excellent. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll do one turn like this, and then we'll have the three of you catch up because at some point somebody will shout, "Help! Help! We're being attacked by wolves!" I assume. Um, <laughs> I mean, maybe not, but we'll find out. Uh, I'll pop that in. Why are they shouted? Don't worry, we've got this. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's what you hear, right? <laughs> um, but. Uh, is that oh, is that what going to keep rolling? That with the yep. bloody wolves have rolled. Yeah. Oh, well, that's shit. Yeah, and when Ryan's rolling, they either roll excellent or shit. <laughs> They're rolling excellent. This is going to be a tough fight, right? <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about it, right? Because there are wolves, right? Yeah. How bad could it be? Well, they seem to be bloody zombie. Mad. <laughs> Mentioned zombies because that was a terrible battle where they were amazing. Mm -hmm. It was zombies. Old, old. Just, just, yeah, it was, it was bad. It was very bad. <laughs> Right, so first things first then, right? They're they're up first. They got the initiative on that. And let's mm. see. This one's mm. gonna move up. And it's gonna run up to you. Because <gasps> you're there. And then it's just gonna have a nom. Now, it's rolled eleven, right? You would then look at your armor class on your sheet, right? And what is the number in your AC? So see the box next to initiative, to the left, I think it is. What is that number? Fifteen. Right. So my eleven is not fifteen, which means it doesn't hit you. So you manage to like deflect it in some way, right? Now it's another wolf's turn. Yeah, I mean, th there's, you know, a bunch of them. Mm. It runs up. And... I was being... Let's see. They also have this thing. Which is something you probably want to worry about. Oh. Yep. Okay. So this one's going to have a wee gnome. No. Oh. Even if it didn't have advantage, the 18 is what it would have got, so here we are. Uh, so that 18 is above your 15, so this one does connect, right? And it's going to go... Om nom nom. Right, so on your character sheet, where your current health is, mm -hmm. you take 8 damage. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, there we go. And if you click out the box, that's perfect. There we go. The other two spot Mr. Giver the Mad. And they do what they can to get as close as they can. So, boom. Runs up there. Likewise, om nom nom. It doesn't hit because an 8 is definitely lower than whatever your AC is. What's your AC? 16. Kyver? 16, yep. And then their buddy. They can only get to here with their normal movement, but they're going to take a dash action to get to there. But because they've used a dash action, they can't attack because their action was used to move further. Okay. Okay, okay. So now. It's back, just go. Now, at this point in time, to like draw or stow a weapon, it, you can do that as part of your movement once, okay, on your turn. So for free, you could like draw a sword or draw a bow. If you draw a bow, ranged attacks when you're engaged 
with somebody, because that person's right next to you, would have this advantage because mm -hmm. they're interfering with you, right? Because they're so close. But what are you thinking? Talk me through what you're thinking to do, and I'll I'll give you some like you know first session advice as well. I haven't a, I haven't a clue. I actually have a clue. And you've taken um, quite a bit of damage as well. So like when that yeah. that wolf built into you, was there any noises that were made? Like oh god, I've been bitten by wolves, or quite yeah, quite a, a noisy, horrible crunch sound. So <laughs> that wasn't. I just mean from you as the you lost <laughs> the majority of your health. Yeah, um, yeah, quite a lot of my breath. Um, I'm going through my whole sheet here and. I can produce a flame. Okay. Um, and animals like that tend to not like fire. Mm -hmm. They're close. Yeah. Either also, very, which means I, I can I can smack their faces with a bolt of fucking flames coming from my hand. So if we go to your spells page, right, and we yeah. have a look at produce flame. So is a like the range is self or a creature within thirty feet. Okay. And it says mm -hmm. here that you can also attack uh, with the flame, although doing so ends the spell because you make the fire and do the attacks, so obviously the, the fire goes with it. When you cast the spell, um or as an action on a later turn, because you can summon the fire and then attack somebody later. You can hurl the flame at a creature within thirty feet if you make a ranged spell attack on a hit. It takes 1d8 fire damage, which means it's a ranged attack, right? Mm -hmm. So it would be at disadvantage. Right, okay. Because it's a ranged attack. Right, okay. You've got things like Healing Word, if you wanted to was... heal yourself. You've got, um, have you got your core page as well? Yeah, um, I've got the, I've got that up. So I'm going to move you to the core page just now, right? You also have a staff that you could equip, and you could attack either with one hand or two handed, um, and just swing a staff at them. Uh, you could also, right? Uh, you've got. If I just minimise this again for us, where is the? There we go. Shillelagh lets you use it casting times one bonus action, right? So you could cast Shillelagh on your quarter staff. So draw your quarter staff, cast Shillelagh. You've still got your action because you've not used it yet, because that's a bonus action for Shillelagh. So you could then go up cast that. Shillelagh and then hit them with the the quarter staff. And if you were worried about it, you could spend your inspiration on the attack roll as well. So that is something you could do on your turn. All of that. That too, spend my inspiration on it. It means you get to roll twice. So see how um, when I was oh. attacking you the second time, I got to yeah. roll twice. It's because they had advantage on the attack roll because they've got packed tactics. But for you, you could spend inspiration to give your like your quarter staff strike uh. um, to to guarantee because you might miss if you roll right. So mm -hmm. that like you could do that again. Those are kind of your options. You could also right if I go back to your spells page for you, healing word is also casting time, one bonus action, so you could heal yourself, draw your staff and club them at the same time, or you could shillelagh up to make your club hit harder and attack them. It's up to you. It's like healing to maybe not die and then attack them with staff. You could just use your action to disengage, right? And that means they won't get those free attacks against you if you move away, but that would be your action. You could then also use Healing Word to heal yourself or prepare Shillelagh on your staff, but you couldn't attack after that because your action was stepping away from them. But then they, might, they might just run up and eat you next turn anyway, though. Because uh, they seem to be able to move quite quickly. Yeah. Like, look yeah, how far away they were from Barry, right? Uh, and then, yeah. So, this is all my you know, session one advice. This advice will get d diminished as sessions go on. But if it was me, I would heal myself if you've, you're on two health. So. Yeah. I would heal myself regardless because that is a big thing. Mm -hmm. But it is also one of your heals 
you would be getting rid of to do that, obviously. And you only get one more after that, or one more of those other spells. And the whole game, or no, no, that. No, just, just until you sleep again. After a long rest. Yep. Um, I definitely need to heal because I'm about to die. I think I'm so as well. So if we a lot of blood here. We got your core page. Healing words should be under produce flame on that middle box. Yeah. So feel free yeah. to cast that. Press that. Go back to the chat. So there'll, yeah. there'll be That's... something that pops up as well, like, you know, what level do you want to cast at? It'll be level one. Alan's trying it on the computer. And he's pressing... Press the actual words, healing word. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Should pop up with another window. Is there another window so, somewhere? No. Right, I'll try and. Sorry about this. Folks. That's okay. It's fine. So, this is the stuff we need to get used to anyway. Do you know what I mean? So, right, you shouldn't need to be in that. So I'm going to just collapse that again. Okay. So you should be able to just click on healing word, the actual the word for it. It should pop up with another thing that says what level do you want to cast this at? No, it's not doing that. Okay, well I'm going to, right. I'm going to click it for you then, right? So you just all want to make sure yes. we're not clicking stuff. Cool. So I'll click that. It comes up with, and I'll just, I'll share this image so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, so I'll dump this in the text on Discord. There is what comes up when I click it, right? So any spell that has different levels. Well, it didn't come up. It's okay. And then You'll click Submit, bam, and there you go. You can add six health back to yourself. Yay. It's pretty good. That's a pretty good rule for Healing Word. Right, okay. So I'm just going to be like... So is that... That's my action, isn't it? No, no. So remember, Healing Word, if we go back to your spells and go back... Well, let's get rid of Shilly Lee because that's open. And let's open Healing Word. Casting time, one bonus action. So you still have your action. So you could now disengage and move away, or you could stay there, pull out your staff and hit them. I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull out my staff and hit them, because let's face it, if I move away, they're just going to come and chomp me again. Yeah. So at least if I try and um, batter them. Um, mm -hmm. so, so, yeah. so to give you an idea of the, the order of this, because the order of this is finickety, but it does matter. You had okay. nothing in your hands moving up there, right? Your stick somehow yeah. on your back or whatever, and then you cast your spell. Now, because you've been, able, you have like your whole movement, etc. You draw your staff as part of your movement. It doesn't cost any movement to do it. It just need, you need to be able to move, right, to do it. Um, and then yeah, you've got the choice between two-handed or one-handed. I see that you have been selected for two-handed. Right, okay. that's in the chat. Sorry. No, that's no, no, Alan. that was... I... Alan's playing about with it. Sorry, my bad. No, I would have said you should have stuck with that. Okay. Because that was totally yeah. deliberate, right? That was me. Definitely mm -hmm. what you want. Yep. Definitely. Because you never you never said that you were going to use your inspiration or anything like that for that, so you definitely want to say that that was all deliberate so far. Yep, and, all um, deliberate. Yep. And now what you do is, in the chat, click on the word quarterstaff two-handed. I'm doing it, Alan. And that's how much damage you're doing. However, before any of that should have happened, you should have told me which wolf you were hitting. Oh. The one in front of you, or the one just above? Yeah. <laughs> the one in front of me. So the one, like, literally just to the left if we go by screens. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Now, the reason why that's important is because I don't want people to be like, well, I'd, if there's, like, bigger, more threatening people on the board, and you roll well or poorly, I need to know the targets before people roll stuff. Again, session yeah. one, I'll be very, very lenient on stuff like this, but the order will oh. be important. Oh, just got the input value box. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's okay. Just close it. You're fine. Um, as I said, it might be a bit jank, but we'll we'll get through it. Uh, but that you drew your staff, you told me what wolf you were hitting, you hit the wolf quite well with your two-handed, you know... <laughs> thud yep. to it. You did it to bludgeoning damage. Um, now you still have movement, but I wouldn't suggest you use it. 
Because the only safe place you could move to at the moment is there. Because you don't leave either of their reach if you do that. Yeah. But you shouldn't, you don't need to move, right? Um, or if you wanted to risk both of them getting an attack of opportunity at advantage, uh, you could run away. I wouldn't recommend that because that's just two free attacks you're giving them. Okay. No, I'm... There's, so there's no move I can do. That's fine. Yep, so that's you used your action to hit them. You've used your bonus action to heal yourself, and that is your done. Did you mark off the use of a spell slot on your spells page? No, but I will now. Cool. So go to your spells tab, and then just spells remaining two, just pop it down to one, and that'll be you sorted. And that's on your first levels. Oops. Perfect. Okay. And I would say that was a very good use of a spell because it might mean you won't die. So yeah, very good. That's quite good to die in the first game. I I mean it, it happens, right? It does happen. Um, right. That's your turn over now. So now it's Giver's turn. Sorry, Giver. <laughs> now, I'm sure you're going to talk through this a bit. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. So, because I'm a, a dragonborn, mm -hmm. fire, breath, mm -hmm. cone shape for 15 meters, 15 feet, which should encompass both wolves. So, if it's going out I'll, uh, I'll see if I can doodle for you two seconds. Okay, so. There is one example of a 15 foot cone that would be placed like this from you, right? There is another one, I'll do that just now, this line here, let me just do bam. That is absolutely terrible and I'll do that again because it wasn't. Let's try that again, shall we? So, bam, bam, bam. There you go. So, they can be like oriented in any way like the, they need to be, but that's how they sit. Right? So, for example, if I move this one out of the way, like you could do it that way because it has to emanate from you and it goes out and can hit everything in that box, or that way. And it can be like, obviously, if you snap it to the squares that are there, you could place it like that, right? As well. But your clone weapon could, from what I can tell, only hit one of them. Um, Whereas if it was like, yeah. if it was back, can you see how she could have got two of them if it was her doing that? So let me just Aye. move that around. She could place the point there. And hit two. Right. But the way they've ran, use... you can't. So I'm going to use my fire breath, the one in front of me, so that the left one on the screen. So, for example, like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so to do that then, right, that's me having to make a roll. Right, so on your on your attacks box, which is right in the middle, right of your main screen, you should have fire breath. Hopefully, keyed in there as an attack. I'll have a look at your sheet just now to double check. You do not. Perfect. We'll do it naturally. We'll do it old school. So, here are the rules for it. This is instead of see like the way. Jill swung her club or like her, her quarterstaff at something. This is the other type of attack you can make where you make somebody have to dodge it, right? So my wolf needs to make a dexterity saving throw, right, using its stats. And we need to work out what your. So what's your con modifier? Let me just work all this out in your proficiency. So your proficiency is plus two because that's above your skills and under the inspiration box, right? 
your con modifier is a 1 because that's in your stat box. So the DC, which is the difficulty for the wolf, right? Your DC is 8 plus 1, which is 9, and then plus your proficiency bonus, which is 2, right? So it's 11. That makes sense, right? I didn't miscount that by anybody else's maths. So that is the difficulty that the wolf has to do on its check, right? So for example, if the wolf breathed fire at you, you would roll a deck saving throw like this that you happen to be really good at. Bam. That's from your stat sheet, right? Dexterity save. And you would have aced that because you would have only taken half damage from it because that's what the... Like on a failed save, a creature takes half as much damage. And it's 2d6 damage that you roll. So let's find out how much this wolf's going to take. This might make more sense once it's rolled. So uh, this wolf will do... Bam! So that 6 is much less than the 11. So it takes full damage. So see that little dice box at the left hand side? On the, yep. the tooltip? Do you want to go to D6 but go to the 2 next to it? And click on 2D6 for me. You've got the list of dice on one side but then... Nope, that's just the one. Just roll another one for me. There we go. But you can, if you just move the dice to the right slightly, or the, the cursor to the right, you can do it like that as well. Which is nice. But we'll take your 7 damage, because it takes the full whack. So you just start toasting this thing. So what type of damage is it? What colour are you again? You're red, so it's, red, it's fire. Fire. Nice. Right, so yeah, you just start cooking this wolf. Angela's not... You've ruined that coat. <laughs> Oh yeah. And I'll we'll eat well tonight. <laughs> There's definitely the smell of burnt fur in the air now. Um, probably a bit of a heat wave on the back of a uh, like Baxter's uh, like neck now. You know, the, the the sweat seems to have dried up somehow from the the wolves. Um, but now that we're back at the top of the initiative order, right? Unless you've got anything else you want to do on your turn, because that would have been your action, right? So you can use your action to exhale destructive energy, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. At the bottom it says after you use it, you can't use it again until a short or long rest. So long rest was eight hours, short rest is one hour. Okay. Um, yeah. Right. Uh, is there anything else you want to do? I'm assuming not, because you don't, probably don't want to move either. Um, but mm. don't know, do you want to like draw a weapon, like a melee weapon or something? I draw a solo. Yeah, you get some parchment out, get a quill, some ink, sit down and start doodling. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so you draw your short sword, right? And you can have that in your hand. Perfect. After you just belch fire over this okay. dude. No, you don't need to click anything, it's just this is like a just a, a fictional thing that we need to track as well. Perfect. So you've got a weapon. If you've got a weapon in your hand, if they move away from you, you can do your reaction to attack them as well, which is nice if they decide to move away from you. Right, can we now have the other three click on their tokens and roll initiative to join the order? I keep randomly drawing across the screen. I don't even know why I'm doing that. Right, so see between Colin Zilk and also Dewey, who has the higher dexterity number? So see on your character sheets, what's your dexterity? Far left. Mine's four. I can't hear any of that. Like, so we've got ten from Angela, yeah? Yeah. Sixteen. Uh, uh, yep, so I will make sure that there goes above. Let's just hit descending on this. It should fix it, and then we'll put do just above. So dexterity will be like the tiebreaker, if need be, and if there's no difference between your dexterity scores or whatever this the tiebreaker is, we'll just roll a d20, and that'll be how we decide like order things. Um, however, so use all run up, and I feel like there's as good a position as any, quite frankly. Um, And yeah, my wolves are gonna go again. So seeing this new, you know, new people 
have turned up. I think the uh, this wolf here, having seen its friend just get cooked, is just going to run straight at. I'm going to roll a d3 because these are all standing in a nice line. So from top to bottom. Let's see. Well, it's the bard. <laughs> so it runs there. Now, because you have a sword equipped, right, you could use your reaction, which you get one of on a turn. Mm. So this is for you, Barry. Um, you could use your reaction to have a free attack at the wolf. Would you like to? Yes. Good. So click on your short sword on your in the middle box, and that should roll the attack roll. Nice, that hits. So click on in the chat now the word short sword under the 18. Bam, look at that. Nicely done. So you've belched fire at this wolf that's ran at you. This other wolf's went, okay, there's other people. I'm going to go to them, hoping they don't breathe fire. It runs off and you just like back swipe with your sword across this wolf as it's bolting away from you. Not bad. But it still manages to make it to the bard. And it's going to go... Oh, no, 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 no. What's your AC, Mr. Bard? Uh, my AC is 13. Is that 13? So it got it. So it has to meet or exceed your AC. So... Chomp. So you take 5 damage. Okay. Mr. Wolf. Okay. The, I'm just going to deal with the Burnt Wolf now. It's going to... To be honest, it's probably just going to make a wee... Uh, a wee, a wee, a wee check here. Nope, it's going to stay put and then maul if it can. Doesn't matter. It's not going to attack. Because I feel like if you get burnt, you get a chance to think about it, right? Um, but he thought about it and yeah, he attacked and he got a 9, so it doesn't touch a Giver at all. I actually hold that wolf off while fighting, you know, the other one. Uh, and then we uh, the wolf next to our druid friend uh, is going to have another munch because it's just been smacked on the noggin with a, a staff. So it buddies right next to it so it still gets that. Bam. Bam. Five damage to you, my dear. Can you see why right. healing was definitely a good choice now? You got five damage. Five. Healing. Okay. Is that updated? Uh, it should have done. Yep. All good. And then this one is going to go and have a munch at the fiery dragon as well. So. Jill, do you want to use your quarterstaff to try and do a cheeky swipe at the uh, the wolf running yes. away? Cool. Yes, I do. Cool. Do the attack of quarterstaff for me. It's the done. And yeah, that hits. Do damage. And then do I hit the word also? Ah, underneath 18. Yep. There we go. Nicely done. So it also okay. takes four... Um, cool, but it makes it to our dragon man, one of two, and it's got a buddy nearby, so it gets advantage. Uh, where's my wolf set? There we go. And a uh, bam. I think that hits, doesn't it, Barry? Uh, yeah. Bam. Five damage. Okay, okay. Wolf's turn is over. Murdrin. You've just seen fire breath and uh, wolves. I. What's the thoughts? If you're a 
you're talking, we cannot hear you. Okay. Hello. Still yep. not. Still yeah, you can, can hear me now. Right. I've no idea what was wrong there. It's okay. Uh, we got you. Press now. buttons, but right. I had in my mind what I was going to do. <laughs> changed it. That's typically in it. <laughs> uh. You're a level one wizard. Truly, there's only one answer to this, right? I was going to just hit them with my quarter star, but. <laughs> uh, What's thoughts? Okay. Talk me through it. I'm thinking of just doing slap and sting. Uh, don't want to carry on. Against uh, which one? Uh, the closest one, so the one north. Okay, yeah. Uh, I want it at your buddy. But I'm double checking some. That's better. Okay. Yeah, nah, I'll go for Fireball, right, against him. Against, yep, the one with the bard. Yep, okay. Yeah. Cast it. Bang. Oh. These. Yeah, that hits. Good. Yay, brilliant. Boom. Excellent. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Just, yeah, this is maybe why there's the low armored dwarfs with you. Boom, fire. Yeah. Uh, you've obviously got your movement and any bonus actions, so... I do, and it's on point, but... Uh, <laughs> did talk about this, I don't know if we actually decided that it was going to... No, we did decide it was going to happen, yeah. My uh, arcane focus is my quarter staff, ain't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah. Yep. cool, right. Uh, so I've got my quarter staff drawn. I'm going to go and be really stupid. Brave, yeah, just face them off, right? Okay, yeah, <laughs> mostly stupid, but yeah, hey, it's right. it shows bravery, right? You know? Yeah, right, but uh, okay, and that, it's our bard's turn, yeah, I don't think you can do anything else, yeah, no, we can't do anything, yes, yeah, so but that's yeah, okay, do it. Mm -hmm. What's the plan? The wolf that took a chunk out of you just burnt up, so <laughs> thanks very much, Mervyn. <laughs> uh, Space for one oh. more here. <laughs> <laughs> How far is 60 feet on the map? Hey, Alright, so if you go to the measuring tool, or press Q, if your shortcuts are on, and click on U and drag it out. Yeah, you drag and hold, yeah. Right, cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So right. yeah, like 60 feet is, is, you get a good range on that. Good, good. Barry, what's your hit points in that? Surely you couldn't Sorry? possibly shout this to a, you know, Giver, right? I think what you mean is, why don't we have um, Barry describe how Giver looks health-wise at the moment? Feels, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. so. Let's try and keep it in the game instead of meta gaming. Yes. No okay. numbers. But this is why I said several times, did you make any noises when Wolves chomped eight of your ten health away? <laughs> so healers know that you need help. Yes. Giver, um, how you doing? Um, has, I have uh, six hit, hit points left. No numbers. <laughs> the idea is like... Terrible. Yeah. Terrible no numbers. Yeah, yeah, no numbers. A whole pint of blood splashed out when they ripped that mount out. Or something like that. Can so keep in mind, your your characters aren't aware that you have hit point values. Right, so <laughs> that that would be meta gaming. So describe how pain, painful things have been when you take hits. Right. The um, <laughs> the black wolf came over and bit a chunk at Mars. <laughs> <laughs> not important then, really. You're not using that at the moment. <laughs> Barry, you've always been about your sonar. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep. laughs> Okay, do I'm going to be wobbling for a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bash, how are you doing over there? Um, not good. Not good at all. <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing good. Like, holding right. off a wolf at, like, you know, staff point. Yeah. Aye. My legs, my legs currently in the wolf's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you're wrestling. The I'm wrestling the eye. Right. I'm not doing okay. good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, what I have... 
is healing word. That's a bonus action. Mm -hmm. And I can reach both of them. So I'm going to go with Baksh. Oh. Okay. And it's uh, one, four, plus spellcast. So if you click it on your sheet. Yep. Do, do, do. From the core page. Yep. Yep. I'm in the core page now. And it should, Thank you. And it should pop up with input value, <laughs> hopefully. Yep. Level one. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. So you can add Ooh. five more HPs. So basically it's undead the bite. Yay, thank you. Shit, sorry. <laughs> Random fireballs. Oh, sorry, magic's uncontrollable. Yeah. Damn, look at that roll as well. <laughs> I know. That's annoying. <laughs> Back, you've got a good chance of surviving. Happy days. Thank you. So mark off a spell slot now from your sheet. Uh, just going back into that just now. Oh, favoritism. <laughs> it's not favoritism at all. It's favorite cheek. <laughs> one, uh, one of you is only missing an arse cheek. The other one's fighting a leg out of a <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> I thought it was my best looking arse cheek. You've got, a, you've got a scratchy bum and I've got no legs. <laughs> so, see from a... Here's again some more session one advice for you as a group, right? Back uh -huh. is the second healer. Oh, yeah. Right? So see from a tactical point of view, healing Giver isn't as much of a priority, sadly, as healing Baksh, because Baksh still has access to one healing spell. So if she goes down, you just lose access to more healing. So tactically, you want your druid and your bard to be kept in as good condition as possible. Last ones to go down. Yeah. yeah. Whereas your wizard can't heal people. The fighter can heal herself, and obviously the ranger has to wait a couple of hills before they get access to some healing magic. Okay. So just from a purely that? tactical point yeah. of view, yes. <laughs> it just means Barry's ass is on the line more than he thought it was. <laughs> um, but to be fair, he can breathe fire and stab wolves without looking, so he's doing pretty well, quite frankly. Um, I was you know, so that's not too bad. Right, so you've done your healing spell, what next? Whoa. You've got an action, so you could like draw a weapon, move forward, and stab at a wolf if you wanted. Well, yeah. Or if you don't uh, want, you could just stay there and say I'm done. No, 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 I'm definitely moving. Um, whoa. So what you got? You've got a rapier and a dagger, right? So you could easily just draw your rapier, which is the better of the two <laughs> weapons. Yeah. Um, one second. <laughs> so, again, you've not told me what you're doing. You're just clicking buttons. So, uh, my rapier. You may need to tell me that first. Sorry, my bad. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. has to uh, right, reapers will be pulled out, and I'm going to move next to Barry. There, specifically, right? Okay. Yep. Pop yourself there. Just here. S, then drag. Yeah, you need uh, to click S because you're still another tool. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And uh, then you want to use your rapier attack. No, it's fine. Again, session one. I'll be kind for session one, but I'll make you roll again next time. Um, uh, you're gonna attack directly. Yep. The wolf. Uh, you can just click on rapier now because that hits. Okay. Okay. Do 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 do. Yep. Um, oh, it's a nice weapon. Yeah, it's a great no. weapon in D and D. <laughs> But, sorry, getting carried away here. There you go. Piercing. Either way, it was enough. Yes! Yep, yep. There we go. So I'm that would still be... not a happy dwarf, by the way. No, you do still have, because you've only technically used 15 foot of movement, right? Mm -hmm. You've still got whatever you've got left, which is what? Another 15 feet. So, Aye. do you want to move anywhere else, or do you want to stay where you are? Um, I will move closer to Jelly Punk to Baksh. Okay. Give me a sec. Yeah, that's, that's good. Oh, there. Cool. 
And the way you would have done that, right, so you would have been one, two, three. The reason you would do something like that is because if you ever entered this square mm -hmm. and then walked out, it would get a free attack. Yeah. Because it threatens that square, right? Right. Da, da, Sorry. Da, da. It's okay. No, it's just, this is this is the learning session, so don't worry. Um, it's good to see it all in play with the threat of losing the characters we spent so many hours working on. And um, we will move on to Colin Zilk, right? So you're up. So let me guess, drawing the great sword? Yep. Cool. And then where would you like to walk to? Um, I think, um, Stuart, how is yours? How do you pronounce it? Sorry, Murdren? Murdren. Murd Think like Murder. murdering, and then murmuring. Right. Murdering. How is your health? I'm feeling great. Right <laughs> at this moment in time. Give or take a turn, I'm not going to be so great. But yes, at the moment, I'm brilliant. Since the two of them are quite close together, then mm -hmm. I'll take the chance that I could maybe do another move and move over to Giver just now. Hey. Since he's got a sore arm. So, do you want to use the measuring tool I, and give me a rough indication of where you want to go before you start moving? So, how do I do the measuring tool? So, if you've got the shortcuts done, you should be able to press Q on the keyboard to just tap it, and then you should be able to click on U, and if you do that and drag out, it should give you, a, like, a ruler. There we go. So, you have, I believe you'll have 30 feet of movement as well. So yeah. Mm -hmm. It can be broken up as well. You can move 10 feet, do stuff, and move an R20, for example. I, um, you don't need to use all of it on so your turn. So if you want to step so in there, you, you can you can still attack this wolf if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. how do you do that? You could also you could like move there, and then like there, if you wanted to try and get closer, or you could even just like boost straight to there, and then attack the wolf, and then that way you're slightly closer to this one if you wanted to keep that. Just depends what way you want to go, but from a tactical point of view, that's mm -hmm. saving you movement in the future because the other enemy's there. Yeah. So here, how do I go here then? So you press S to go back to select, and then okay. just grab your token with the left click, and then just dump it down on. Where was it here? Just south of the wolf. So just south of that one. About here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can go there. So that would be, that's 20 foot you've moved so far, but because you didn't leave the reach of that, so had you went mm -hmm. one further closer to Jill's character, you would have been out with its range, so it can threaten this space. You're still within right. that, which is fine. But had mm -hmm. you moved one more, it would have got a free attack, so you're good as is. Um, okay. And it means that if you can get rid of this wolf, you've still got 10 feet more. You could move to closer to the other one if you wanted before you end your turn. Yeah. Okay, so cool. you've got your sword in hand. Keep in mind as well, you've got inspiration if you want to use it, if need be as well. If mm -hmm. you want to guarantee hitting things, you can try and maximise these uh, results by rolling twice, etc. But you need to state that oh. before we click buttons, obviously. Also yeah. to emph emphasise what you just said there as well, if you leave that square of, uh, of an enemy, he will get attacked automatically. Don't do that. Okay. So do I click my great sword now? Yes, exactly. If you do want to swing with that, and I'm assuming you don't want to use your inspiration. No, I don't. That's no. fine. Yep, yep. So just click on great sword in your uh, your attack box in the middle. Perfect. It hits. Do your damage. Everybody weep a bit. So to do damage, you click under the seventeen on the word great sword in the chat. Yep. It should have clicked. I don't know. That's why okay. It's not coming through. It might just take a wee second yeah, or two. Yeah. There we go, look at that, everybody want to cry well, a bit. Yeah. Wow. I was waiting on something else. You were this. Bam. Oh, and you crit it as well. Well, we crit one. It's, well. This is what great swords are for, right? When they hit, yeah. they, they yeah, usually hit hard. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the max damage. Like, like, yeah. yeah, just uh, walks up, smack. No. It could have been another three, actually. Yeah, because of the, the bonuses. Yeah. Um, but you've now got. 10 feet left, and that thing's dead, so mm -hmm. do I just move another 10 feet closer to the other one, or are you happy where you are? Um, I'll move a bit closer just in case. 
So, so about here? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, perfect. And that would be your movement done. Now, do you have any bonus actions? Because it's only an action to attack. Um, it would say on your abilities if you had things you could use, but I think the only thing that you've got is like second wind, which you don't need to use just now. So I think you're good. Yeah, yeah I've got second wind, and then underneath that it says savage attack. Um, but no, that's about the only thing I've got. So savage attack would have come up. Had you critted the attack, uh, so if the seventeen mm -hmm. had been like the maximum you could possibly roll, which I think is a twenty-five for you, um, it would be a green mm -hmm. number, and you'd mm -hmm. get to have rolled an thirty-six again, right? Which is crazy, because orcs, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> um, so that's that's you done there, nicely done. Uh, we then go to back. Team like twenty. What's the plan? For level one, Kelly. Mm -hmm. 21. Mm -hmm. It's disgusting, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Orcs, man. That's like three of me dead in a row. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not quite three of you, but like close Could enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two would change. Uh, do we have a Jill? Is she with us still? Mm hmm. Yeah. Perfect. It's your turn. So. I'm, t I'm tempted to um, run away and um, hit it with a firebolt. So my recommendation would to not do that because, okay, okay. because you leaving its range means it gets a free attack, remember? Oh, oh. yeah. So it does. And it's just the one bit, the run away bit. Yeah. yeah, so if you, if you disengaged as an action, you could move away from it without it getting the attack. However, you then couldn't do something like fireball. Yeah. But disengaging is a reasonable option at the moment. It is not the worst considering you've got your buddies that have just murdered the other three. Um, or you could stay and smack it with your staff more. It's up to you, really. Wolf took damage already. What damage is the wolf at? <laughs> you don't know. I don't know. Good. Um, it just looks like you've smacked it on the nose and didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know whether it engaged. Or or it, it if you look back, you just see like this half work <laughs> just cleave this other wolf in two. <laughs> I know. Because I'm thinking if I disengage, I could go and heal. But. Um, I don't know. Just keep in mind as well, if you do heal, no. you're out of spells and then you just need to go deal with a wild woman, right? Mm. If you were worried about anything going wrong with that, maybe you just want to start thinking, do I want to use all my spells in one fight? Do I not? Yeah. So this is the part where you start thinking about what are you likely to get done in a day before mm. you sleep again? Because you can't just yeah. rest again after yeah, a long that... rest you need to wait a day before you can benefit from a second long rest okay that makes sense but healing would... people isn't the worst idea either yeah i would recommend they'll run a uh, disengage and run behind to ones that are closest there but it's there's options because so. mm -hmm. keep in mind you'll have a go but then guy will have a go before the wolf goes so and if you want to get super tactical about it Ever has like a move of 30 and could literally just walk there and stab at it as well after you've had a go at it. Or you could move 35 away and see what it does. See, if I move 35 away, it's going to come off. Right, yeah. Then it's, they're going to go got for me. Two yeah, people to go I was going to say, yeah, if it has to run through this middle gauntlet like to get there, it's going to have both of them with a free attack. Mm, that's true. So it's not that, like, you wouldn't get free attacks if you didn't hold weapons that are melee in your hands, by the way. That's a thing. Hence why I'm like, you want to draw weapons, so you are always threatening a square. Um, but obviously if your hands are full, then you can't do certain things like spellcasting. Attacks. So, at this point I would say we're analysis paralysis. You don't need to worry too much about this, because you're probably in an okay place. There's one of them and there's like four of, or sorry, five of you total. 
example like what you might want to do is hit and stay or disengage and leave the way to think of it is do you want to contribute to damaging it or attempting to damage it before it gets a go so that if you and Giver both hit it you might be able to kill it before it gets a turn or if you disengage to preserve yourself which is valid because you have a heal spell available still mm -hmm. and sadly everything's value goes down to can you do lots of damage or can you heal um, so it's up to you contribute damage, run away to heal if you need it that was what that's the way I'd look at it um, there isn't really much else to think about at that point other than try and hit because you could stay there and miss right mm -hmm. also someone's just let off a firework outside at half one what the fuck Happy it was a firework just halfway through that conversation I was wondering what, what did you hear there oh <laughs> something to let off what <laughs> yeah it's ridiculous I'm hoping it's a firework and I'm not suddenly at war um, <laughs> So what's the thoughts then? Batch. What would Batch do in this situation? You know, wolf in her face, party to her back. Does she stay and fight or does she bolt to live another day? I'm, because I'm shit at fighting, um, disengage. Yeah, that's valid, right? So yeah. disengage and remember you can move up to 35 feet if you do that. So where would you like to Dis move to? Disengage and run away. Could you move it? Because I can't mm -hmm. do it on... Where would you like to move to? Yeah. Uh, you can tuck in as far as behind. Yeah, you've got 35 feet to play yeah, with. It goes so. back to that square, and that's between Stu and Barry. So there, yeah. yeah, cool. Yes, please. Now, that right? you can't run through enemies that are threatening a square, but you can run through allies so long as they don't, you know, like, become enemies instantaneously. So passing, like, okay. if you wanted to go, like, to the square below Stu, you can do that, but if you wanted to get past this wolf that's right in front of you, like this one, if that was still alive, you couldn't just walk there. Aye, right, aye. Cool, just as a, another thing for folks. The yeah. good thing is, because they're dead, I don't care. So you because they were dead, yeah. yeah. Yep, exactly, it doesn't matter. If it's a bigger thing though and it dies, it might not be something you can get past because of how big it is, depending on what it is, right? But I'll talk you through that when that situation comes up. Okay. Uh, right, so you've moved there, you disengaged as your action to move there, that's fine, poor wolf's on its own now. You still have a bonus action, so technically if you wanted to use your heal spell, you could, if you wanted to. Um, Is the wolf back yet? It's still Bax's no. turn. The wolf's turn isn't until Giver's has went. No, but I meant like, Barry. because it's left the... I no, because she, no, she used her action to disengage. Right. So she gave up her action, which means she can't attack, to leave it safely. See on that cheat sheet I linked everybody? Yep. This engages yep. in there under the actions box. I'm looking at it then. I... It's good. I've... It's a good one. Especially um... when like, you're outnumbered and stuff and it's your turn, you go, I'm going to leave this situation. Piper, <laughs> <laughs> how bad is your health? Do you want me to use a healing spell on you? Or would you rather I left it for Crazy Witch Lady? How well are you? I'm not, not too bad. Mars is a wee bit sore. <laughs> but I'm all right now. Right, thank Christ, because I don't want to go anywhere. So um, I'm just going to leave you, leading away. So. Cool. You happy to That's... end your turn there, yeah? I'm happy to end my turn. Cool. Giver, ass and all. It's you. <laughs> um, Mars is sore. <laughs> I don't really want to limp to the. To He's the all being pussies and <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stay where I am, but right. I'm going to use longbow. Right, so I'm going to I'm talk going you through how move. moving stuff around your hands work, right? So you can draw or still one weapon as part of your move, right? And then to do more, it'd be an action. So you could drop your sword for free, but then it's on the ground at your feet, right? <laughs> and draw your longbow as part of the move. Right? After the battle, I can pick up my sword again, eh? Of course you can. 
Yes. Right. Last one I'm going to do. Drop my sword. I'm going to pull out my longbow. And obviously, you get the longbow in your hands and the arrow notched before the sword clatters off the ground for dramatic effects. And we spend <laughs> a, we spend a slow mo budget on that scene. Um, yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, perfect. Obviously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then I'm going to attack the wolf from my. Yep. I I mean, yeah, that seems fine. I'll talk you through that in a wee second, but it's going to be completely fine and within range. So yeah, do you wanna? Hit longbow for me. Fupa. Now, can you see the numbers under the 17? 150 slash 600. Yep. Now, a longbow is a bit ridiculous because it doesn't really matter, but anything within 150 feet is a normal shot. Anything further away, the shot will have disadvantage. And anything beyond 600 feet, you cannot make the shot. Right? That's what those numbers are for. Longbows don't really care that much because if I have you on a map that has 150 feet on it and you're trying to attack things further away in it, it's probably going to be like a siege or something you're in, on a castle, right? So, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. But some people have like much shorter range on things, like throwing knives or like... like a in fact, I, Dewey, can you click on your dagger for me? Are you sure? Yep, I'm going to show you an example. So a dagger can be like used to stab, or you can chuck it, and you can see how it's 20 or 60. Which means Dewey is literally just in range to throw his dagger at the wolf without it being at disadvantage. Had the wolf been one back, it'd be at disadvantage. And that's what those numbers are for. But luckily he's not going to do that, because hopefully Guyver's going to murder this thing. You've hit it with your arrow. Yeah, do you want to do some damage? So click on longbow underneath your 17. Nice. So, arrow fires out, stabs into this thing's neck. It like, tries to do that thing that dogs do where they try and like, snatch it out of there with its mouth as it snaps in the air. Um, it misses as it hits into it and it like grabs into it, like pulls it out with its, its teeth and snaps the arrow into it. It's still on its feet. And then, uh, you moving anywhere, buddy? Just going to stay there. Because you could go up to uh, probably another 100 feet away and still be able to hit this thing. <laughs> Give or take a couple of trees in your way. <laughs> but yeah, if you're happy with this. Now, on your sheet, you'll have arrows, right? See above the red text box where your breath weapon was? See how there's two little resource boxes? Got them? Yes. Cool. Just number at the top, don't touch it. Number underneath, just mark it down one. Because your quiver is full of 20 arrows. After a fight, so long as you've had time to loot the place, you get half the arrows you fired back rounded down. Okay? So, assuming you didn't have the bolt really quickly away from the place, if you fire two arrows, you get one back. If you fire one, you don't get it back. So, weird rules, but that's how it works. Cool. I, right, it's the wolf's turn, and at this point, use here, off in the distance, this big howling noise, like a much bigger wolf. And then, with crazy amounts of speed, this massive wolf appears. Oh, fuck off. Running down this way. Um, and it runs and runs and runs, picks this one up from the back of the neck with its mouth and it just swings it left and right and kills it and slams it off like the the cliff face there. Team start talking wolf again by the way. Technically yeah. she still can speak wolf. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's not it's not been 10 yeah. minutes yet really. And uh, <laughs> Right, it's there. It then um, seems to like be growling at like the the body of that wolf it's just been like lobbed that way. Like there's probably been a nice blood spray in that area as well, quite frankly. <laughs> wolf blood. And uh, the thing kinda like snarls and snaps its like mouth and then like looks over at like the body down there and like kinda like growls and then looks at you guys and then it seems to like shift and turn. 
I am, and then you see shaking off all this fur as they stand up from the, just like the collapsed pile of wolf. Uh, this old woman. He, the crazy lady that we. And then she says, "Did the dogs give you any trouble?" And we <laughs> end our session there. That's a play. Thanks. <laughs> dun 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 dun. <laughs> so now I'll talk you through the wrap up chat that we'll do fairly swiftly. Uh, that is so good. So when we end the sessions, what I like to do first is name them, right? So what would you just like to call this session? Ideally, it needs to be something A, clean that I can type on my YouTube and isn't a million words long. Um, so what is the thoughts? Um, any ideas? Wolf puns are completely fine as well. Um, but ideally, when you're thinking of a name of the session, if you are looking through the list of session titles, try and make it the thing that was like the important bit, you know, if you can. So, for example, Stu, do you have any suggestions to start us off? What it could be called? Um, close to something, but I haven't got it. No worries. MDL has got anything that can think of that might be. Valid? Zombie dog page. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, zombie. Zombie dog rampage. Zombie dog rampage. Right, so I'll pop that in chat. Rampage. Uh, I wonder if we're getting the back. So welcome back. So, any suggestions, guys, for the session title? I was thinking hungry like the wolf. Oh, hungry that's a good like one. the wolf. Yeah. Okay. Does it did say it was hungry? Yeah, I like that one. That's good. Yeah, quite like that one as well. So I'm going to put Come a, wee, like that one. Got a bit of a wee vote on that one as well. So are we thinking hungry like the wolf for session one? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. yeah. I think that was easy. Yeah. yeah. Good. Um. <laughs> next thing we'll do, right? If we had goals, we would talk about did we think we resolved them or not? Blah blah blah. Right. So we'll deal with that in the future. Um. For XP. Uh, XP, I'm still working on how I want to deal with it. I probably just want to do, really do milestone for the moment. So I want to keep it as simple as possible. So leave the XP stuff to me and I'll let you know when you level up and we'll deal with that as and when. Uh, beyond that, what we'll do is we'll do a quick wrap up chat. So much like we did the intros, we'll do uh, what you liked, didn't like, what you... If somebody did something in the session you really thought was quite funny or you enjoyed, it's like times like this to bring it up. So, I'll start with Stu to make it easier because Stu's been through like 50 of these with me already. Um, <laughs> so do you want to give us the wrap up chat start, Stu? Well, the wee bit in the fight I did was like cast. Yeah, he, yeah he did well. Yeah. He stepped up, yeah. he fired things, you looked really brave stepping up again. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't take any damage, which is really good for me, by the way. You just won't know about it, but that's really good for me. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Um, you didn't die uh, at something new? Yeah, mm -hmm. at all. Didn't hit the deck at all. That's uh, good. Anything else you like that? Uh, interesting. Can you think so far? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Clear where we're going, so on. So it's good that way. Mm -hmm. In fact, where we're going came to us. Yeah. So it's, 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 can't say I don't make it easy for you guys, Andy. right? <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yep. Um, actually, I just realised that uh, my pun earlier would have been also a good suggestion. Uh, wolf mother. But uh, that might be session no. two. We'll find out. Um, I'm still happy to keep hungry like the wolf. Uh, right, I uh, will start with... Uh, again, we'll just go from the top to the bottom for now. So, Alan, do you want to start us off? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think... I think we're getting into it. I think at first we were maybe a bit too tentative at times. Mm -hmm. um, but I think everyone's just starting to find out their own camp and move through it. So, yeah, yep. I think it's... It definitely does take a wee bit to get into the shoes of your new character, right? Because obviously you've just made these people. So, yeah, working out how they interact together is sometimes the tricky bit. But I actually mm -hmm. think he's dead. See for like, a, again, session one when these are all new to D&D. Like, I think it did pretty well. It's obviously going to be a bit of technical babble for us to get used to the system, but that's going to have to happen anyway. But no, I think everybody did pretty well. Uh, okay. Anything else you want to add? Nope. Oh. Are you good? Um, uh, no, that's I'm good with that. Perfect. Yep. Jill? Uh, 
Um, so wolves aren't very good conversationalists. No, definitely not. Not hungry wolves, no. Yeah, they're not. They're not very good at chatting. Um, I'm really shit in a fight. <laughs> really, really, really bad in a fight. Uh, but I've got a really good team who's got my back. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going to be in intrigued to see what um, this wolf mummy has mm -hmm. to say for it. Also, numbers. Yep. Sorry, oh, I didn't fight. Sorry, you were fighting three of at one time, weren't you? Yeah, so, it was um, so two. Sorry, two, and the second two, one got uh, advantage. Yeah. You're never going to do well with that. Nah, it's it's bad. Um, luckily <laughs> though, right? You took somebody with you. Now think of if you'd went there yourself. Oh, I'd be dead. That'd have been so. One goes up and gets a normal attack. The three ones that follow would all have advantage on their attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's no more druid at that point. So you did good by sending buddies. This is a lesson in never splitting the party too much. I am. Um, mm. Also, yeah, I think you did pretty well. Like you technically weren't shit in the fight. It's just your damage wasn't like a good roll. It was just a low roll on damage because you did hit with your stick. So, yeah. It's true. And you did heal yourself, so you did quite a lot on your turns. It's just, I think you made the right decision pulling back and letting everybody else deal with it. I think that was a good choice. Um, but I kind of prefer people to make their choices so they can like pick up on what they want to do and what they should be doing. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get a bit higher level, you'll be able to turn into a wolf and just bite them back, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. um, which is kind of cool. Um, yes? Hey, cool. Anything else you want to add? No, that was it. Thank you. Cool. We've heard from you already, but we'll go to Angela. Um, I learned that there is a lot of wolf blood when you use a great sword. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you and... probably look the most calm and collected and badass just walking forward, just murdering that wolf and just be like, come on guys, get your shit together. Thanks. It's good. Um, yeah, I will come back for the next session. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Everyone else is going, please keep the great sword in the party. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> um, also, as I said, there, like, like at the break and stuff as well, I genuinely think, like, yeah, the, half the stuff you come up with was very, very good ideas. Um, very put together ideas, and it all made sense based on the information you had to go on. So, yeah, I actually think you've taken to the RP mindset quite well, quite frankly. And that isn't me just saying it, so we keep that. <laughs> no, I actually just think that you definitely seem to like be like, here's what we're working with, and here's what we should be doing. Done. Makes sense. It makes me feel like Collins Elk is the like the sensible one out of the group. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, what about yourself? Uh, yeah, that is role playing then. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> but I'm glad you had fun. Uh, Barry. Yeah. Uh, yeah um... I learned that wolf smells really nice cooked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, not taste very nice. Uh, yeah, like only two of those pelts are probably resellable, right? So. Not to uh, um, And I also learned then that I, I can't really sit down for a couple of days. Yeah, like you got to walk <laughs> that off, buddy. Get some salve on it. <laughs> it's got to be it's an <laughs> <Some> E45. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a different H in there. I know, but to be honest, though, you are also um, like again. I think nobody missed either. Like that's really unusual for like a level one fight. Normally, I expect people to miss more stuff. In a fight, which is always the worry as a GM trying to run a game so people don't die. Um, I think you were expecting me to use Magic Missile because of that as well, weren't you? I just figured you're. It was more the you die a lot in games we run to, so <laughs> I figured you'd want to use Magic Missile to guarantee hitting wolves. Because um, for everybody that doesn't know, Magic Missile doesn't require an attack roll, it automatically hits, it's just relatively low damage. Um, yeah. But it does hit unless somebody uses Shield to block it, which is a magic spell. Um, yeah, uh, anything else you want to add, Barry? No, that's me. No, good, good. I uh, obviously we'll talk uh, off recording about a e session two, etc., and all the the scheduling involved in that. Uh, but thanks everybody for playing. I hope you all had fun. And uh, thank you very much for 
Right. You're more than more Thank welcome. You. That was a lot of fun for me. I was like introducing people to D&D. Uh, but yes, say goodbye everybody. Bye everybody. Thanks. Bye. Bye.